Our next guest is an author, TV presenter, and an award-winning comedian who's been entertaining audiences for over 30 years. And aside from all of that, he also happens to be Spider-Man's dad. Oh my God. I mean, no big deal, we're not that excited. <laughs> Dominic Holland, how are you doing? Hello. I'm very well, guys, thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be welcome to Spider-Man's dad. Don't, don't worry about that at all. It's absolutely great to have you on the show. I was literally about to say, like, is that okay? And also, are you used to being introduced as that yet? Yeah, no, no, I get it. Listen, because um, it's such a crazy thing, okay? I mean, Tom came from nowhere. He, he didn't have any stage uh, school experience. So it all came in for him. And it's such a big role across the world. He's, he's watched and loved. And so, you know, no matter what I do in my career, I'm always going to be known as Tom's dad. And it's something I really welcome. I, I herald it. It's fun. It, it's hilarious because people are confounded when they find out. When I tell audiences, you see people Googling. They think, no chance. Um, but, yeah, it is true. It is true. I'm definitely his dad. And uh, it's been a great story watching it happen. Well, Spider-Man has been around for about 60 years. Uh, I'm 36 now, and it's been around my whole life. I've always loved Spider-Man. My son loves Spider-Man. My son loves your son. <laughs> I mean, we all love Spider-Man. We all love your son. It's just fair to say, I'm so like a massive fan, by the way. Just going to geek out there. Uh, and my son is actually tuning in right now so that he can watch me talk to you. So that's just how big of an impact that, uh, that, that you have and Tom has. And I have to say, as a dad, how did it feel to find out, I suppose as a family, when you guys found out that Tom won or was awarded one of the biggest roles of a lifetime? Well, uh, hello to Kamal Jr., by the way. Um, <laughs> Nico, his name is Nico. Um, Nico, hello, Nico. Um, well, it, it took a long time, Kamal. It wasn't a quick process. So when he finally got cast, he'd been to maybe four or five auditions, had, been, had done read-throughs with the cast, with Robert Downey Jr., with Chris Evans. So we knew he was quite close. I was going to Cambridge to do a gig. I pulled in at the services just fortuitously, and Tom called me because he'd just found out that he'd been cast. And it was a really hot day, much like today in London. And it was surreal, and it was extraordinary. My phone exploded, all my friends were in touch, my family my family in Ireland, my family in England, all got in touch with me to congratulate me, but it wasn't really congratulating me because it was Tom. But um, yeah, it's a, big, it's a big role and he's filled it so well. I was nervous for him. I was worried when he got the gig because it was so, such a big gig, a lot of scrutiny on him. I knew that you know, there'd be, there was a lot of hate when he got it because no one had heard of him, no one knew who he was. So they, there was a lot of expectation, you know, who's this English kid you know, pretending to be a New Yorker? Um, but he did it with such a plomb um, the audiences have really embraced him. And so here we are, what, five years later, six years later, and he's maybe seven or eight films in, in, in the tights, in, in the mask. And it's been, it's been wonderful to watch. And I've really, all my family, his brothers and my wife, have all enjoyed watching it. It's incredible. Mm. I mean, that must feel so surreal because he is amazing and the whole world loves him. But, I mean, you're also a star in your own right. You wrote the audiobook wow. Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that was sort of, you know, about your career, Tom's career. And it was kind of um, from the perspective of like, you know, a normal family who weren't expecting mm. this, this success. I mean, was that re the reality for how it was? Because it did start off as a blog, isn't that right? It did. And, and absolutely. It, Tom confounded all of our expectations because it was a long time coming. It's probably 10 years from when he was spotted to when he got cast. And we never expected it at all. OK, so... I was beguiled watching it. I always expected it to end. Tom had done a few things in London. He'd done a few movies. He'd done a West End show. But I always expected it to end. Um, and you're very kind, Grawny, as saying I'm a bit of a star. The reason why I wrote the book is because my son has completely put me in a shadow, even though I'm in the light of London here. Um, and I, that's, there's no shame in that. And there's no shame in the book. So it's called Eclipsed because, you know, I sold movies to America back in the day and really wanted to get it made into movies. I had no plans for Tom to become a movie star. <laughs> so all my plans went, went pear-shaped and his just came in. So it's a really, it, it feels like a sort of, a little bit of a gift to me, as well as Tom being as who he is, is giving me this story that is a naturally funny story because the old man didn't make it and the kid did. And I can write it in a very affectionate tone to make people laugh and, and also to find out how the kid did make it, you know. So it's, it's, it's got a lot in there, the, 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 the story of Eclipsed. 
I love the sort of the comedic element of, you know, the contrast of your career and his career, but you have also been very successful, so don't downplay it. But what I was going to say was an Eclipsed, obviously it's from the, you know, the perspective of a normal family and you mm. were a completely normal family. This was completely unexpected and the yeah. whole world, they're now watching Tom. Do you get protective of him or how do you find that? Yeah, that's a good question. I am very protective of Tom, but I do get the gig is so big that when he took that role, we knew we knew the scrutiny on him, okay? So he has this enormous social media platform and that amplifies everything. Um, but we are a normal family. Um, even though I'm a comedian, um, you know, we, we, are, we remain a normal family. We still go for normal, we do normal things and Tom's part of that. And I think that's a good thing for Tom because you know, because because we're his anchors, really. We don't defer to Tom. We're not his acolytes. So when he comes home and when he calls me, he'll call me today. We speak every day. He's in New York today. Um, and it's just a, just a catch-up, and we remain a normal family. And I think that's a really good thing for him because he lives in a very... It's a very heightened world. I mean, until you see that level of, of notoriety, it is quite unusual what he has to cope with. But he does cope with it really well, and I constantly watch him on... I catch up with him online. I see what he's been doing. And because you can just Google his name and you see where he is in London or New York or wherever he is. But he handles it really well. And and he, you know, he's been a real he's been a real credit to um to himself as as to how he's managed to to, to manage to, to handle that, you know. Yeah, I, I personally I think that's one of the reasons why I I like him so much. And he's he's such a uh, um I suppose, such a huge star, it's because of the way he's handled everything. And he, he is a real gentleman. And that's one thing I like about him. And, and my son, who's only eight years old, notices that in him as well. So it's a, it's a testament to that, maybe, I guess, how you've brought him up and keeping the normality within the family. So, you know, fair play to you guys, I guess, is what, 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 what yeah, we can it, say. It was all me, Kamal. My wife was present, <laughs> but it was all me, just so you know. <laughs> I was going to ask, actually, very quickly, do you ever see yourself writing a story that Tom could... could potentially play in one day. Oh, yeah, all the time. And I hope he will, because then, then it'll get made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs>